एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन अ स्मॉल ब्लॉक ऑफ मास एम इज केप्ट एट द इंड ऑफ अ लार्जर ब्लॉक ऑफ मास कैपिटल एम एंड लेंथ एल द सिस्टम कैन स्लाइड ऑन होरिजेंटल सर्फेस द सिस्टम इज स्टार्टेड टूवर्ड्स राइट विद एन इनिशियल वेलॉसिटी वी द फ्रिक्शन को एफिशियंट बिटवीन द फ्लोर एंड द बिगर ब्लॉक इज म्यू एंड दैट बिटवीन द ब्लॉक्स इज म्यू बाई टू फाइंड द टाइम इलेप्स बिफोर द स्मॉलर ब्लॉक सेपरेट फ्रॉम द बिगर ब्लॉक एज यू कैन सी वेन द ब्लॉक्स मूव A smaller block slides on the bigger block, so the friction between the blocks will act in backward direction on the smaller block and forward direction on the bigger block. Let us draw the free body diagram of the smaller block. Gravitational force of mg will act on it in downward direction. Normal will act on it in upward direction. Since the coefficient of friction is mu by two, friction force of magnitude mu n by two will act on it in backward direction. Let the acceleration of this block with respect to the ground be a m. Balancing the forces in vertical direction, we get n is equal to m g. Therefore, m into a m must be equal to mu into m into g by two, or a m is equal to mu g by two. Now let us draw the free body diagram of the bigger block. Gravitational force of capital m g will act on it in vertically downward direction. Reaction of the normal it applied on the smaller block will push it downwards. Floor will push it upwards with normal contact force, say n dash. Friction between the blocks, that is mu mg by two, will act on it in forward direction. Friction by floor, whose magnitude will be mu into n dash, will act in backward direction. Let the acceleration of the block in backward direction be a capital M. Balancing forces in vertical direction, we get n plus capital M g is equal to n dash, or n dash is equal to capital M plus m into g. For horizontal motion, we have mu n dash minus mu mg by two is equal to capital M into a capital M. Putting the value of n dash, we get mu capital M plus m into g minus mu mg by two is equal to capital M into a capital M, which implies capital M into a capital M is equal to mu into capital M plus m by two into g or A capital M is equal to mu into capital M plus m by two into g divided by capital M. Let us assume the time after which the blocks separate be t. Since both the blocks start with v and move with uniform acceleration, we can write the distance travelled by them from the Newton's equation of motion. The distance travelled by the smaller block in time t, say s one, is equal to v t minus half a m t square. Similarly, distance travelled by larger block, say S two, is equal to v t minus half a capital M t square. As you can see, for it to fall off the bigger block, the distance travelled by the smaller block must be greater than the distance travelled by the larger block by L. Thus, S one is equal to S two plus L, or S one minus S two is equal to L, which implies half a capital M t square minus half a M t square is equal to L. Putting the values, we get mu into capital M plus m by two into g t square by two capital M minus mu g by four into t square is equal to L. Simplifying, we get t square is equal to four capital M L divided by mu g into capital M plus m, or t is equal to root under four capital M L divided by mu g plus capital M plus m. This is our answer. In order to request solution to any question from H C Verma book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.